Hello CCHN from Belgrade. It's so great to be here. This is Mara with you. I am taking you with me as I'm going to an open information session about uh, mental health and well-being of migrants. In the meantime, come with me on my walk and see what I'm seeing here in Belgrade. Have some more meetings this afternoon, so I'll catch up with you later. Maybe, uh, maybe on Monday we'll we'll do a little wrap up of Belgrade. Hi, we're in Belgrade and we're heading to uh, Info Park. It is a location where young migrants uh, congregate and uh, try to get access to some services. Uh, that's also where there's smugglers, um, you know, drawing clients and see how they can hire a taxi to get to the border. So um, we'll you know try to find out what's going on there and. Uh, how people deal with these issues here. We will meet over there with uh, the director of Info Park, who's also a community member of the CCHM. So we'll keep you poster, posted over there. This is what they usually use to try to contact families, uh, to send them additional money, to share information and so on via Facebook, or just to watch the <laughs> Bollywood videos. Um, yeah, and the bigger area that we use for women and children, we try to separate them for the group and do separate interviews. And this is how we learn that we also have unaccompanied girls on the move in the Balkan region. The girls usually travel with a pretend family that would present them as their own. But then when, when you do an interview here with the girl and she will say, this is my neighbor, that my father asked to take me to Germany and so on. And the neighbor would say, yes, that's my second daughter. And they would say like, they have two daughters of 14 years old who are not twins. And it took us too long <laughs> to realize this is how we learned how many child brides we have on the move also because when we have a family and then we interview them, usually the man answers all the questions and then we ask the woman separately here and she would say that she was married off like 15 in Greece, had a, in Turkey, had right, a child in Greece. By the time she reaches here, she's like 18 but has a three-year-old kid and so on, and she just wouldn't be noted in any social services. Some women uh, who are on the move, who don't go to the camp, uh, spend the day here resting or sleeping, changing clothes and so on. And for us it's important just to build trust in a safe space and do the more confidential interview. Is We have a boys day, which is every Sunday a colleague of mine has a whole day of activities just for unaccompanied boys. 